another video starring yours truly, Fro Fro. How are y'all doing today? It's my Friday. Finally. Finally. It is my Friday. So I hope last time when we talked, I hope the mic sounds better. I found another place on the side sheet. So I hope that mic sounds a little better. Awesome. Awesome. We got to touch on some things, man. My video that I posted about the rocker hate is blowing up with people telling me and calling me the complainer. All I'm doing is making a statement. I'm not complaining about anything. Nothing. Nothing. I'm just saying what I've dealt with. I ain't saying you're going to deal with it. Or you got friends that's dealt with it. I'm saying it's something that I personally have dealt with. Now, with all that being said, it seems on my other, like my rocker groups I'm a part of, they're dealing, there's people who are dealing with the same exact thing. And it's just got to stop. We're all riders. We all love the wind. Call it our wind therapy. We don't got a cage around us. Yeah, we got three wheels holding us up, but hey, it's a reverse track. Technically, it's a motorcycle because it does have a motorcycle's license plate, and I do have to have a motorcycle license. Now, touching on today's topic. Today's topic, so you wanting to buy a rocker, huh? You really are. I'm going to hit on six different things. It might be five. I don't know. Depends on how much I want to ramble. But I'm going to hit on six different things to consider when you're buying your rocker. Number one, what is your budget and do you want new or do you want used? Now, I say that because if your budget's within the $12,000 range, you can get you a brand new 900 Ace or a 900 Sport Plus, depending on your dealer fee and your state taxes, you can get it all for a little over 12. Uh, the Sport might be a little more. Or if your budget is from, I'm going to say 6,000 all the way up to 10,000, you might want to look in the used market. now things to consider when you're buying used. Here's what you need to consider. You need to consider all the mods that's been put on this thing. And not only that, you need to consider the person you're buying it from. I mean, you can tell if someone's going to act a fool on the thing. And, uh, shoot. I mean, if you're buying it from a real, real old guy, chances are you're probably going to get a, something that's been taken care of. But if you're going to buy it from a young cat like me, or younger, you know that he has probably done burnouts and all that. What's going on, my bro? See, that was some Harley love. But no, he's done burnouts, revved it out, acted a fool. So you want to consider that. And I say you want to consider the mods because you got to remember mods don't make something cost more it's like a car just because you got underglow on the thing and not just underglow just because you got speakers and a stereo system that does not increase the value if anything that's going to hurt your value because it's going to bring your price like you got to look at service like your battery you need to see how many miles is on the thing yes if you're going to buy used you need to consider that now, if your budget's 15000 or 13000 and up, I'm going to say thirteen to 30000 and you're just wanting can m the Spiders, you can get a Spider, you can get the Spider F3, which I personally wish I would have got. I love the way them things are. Or you can get the Rocker Rally, and they start at thirteen or fourteen. I've done forgot. Those just come with basically all the bells and whistles, adjustable shocks, stuff that you can go off-roading with. Now, number two, you need to really consider, are you going to be long traveling, city traveling, or just traveling to work and back? Say you work maybe about an hour, two hour and a half there and back. If you're going to work that, get you a rocker or something like that, that's more of like your city commuter or short rides. Now, people go on long rides on this. 
don't get me wrong people go on really really long rides on this but they're not ideal for longer rides uh he'll even tell you that people go on long rides get the spider f3 and up it's more comfort you got cruise control which you do got cruise control on some of the sports models and the rally models but you're in that rocker format you want a spider man if you're going to do traveling they got big comfy luscious seats gps uh more powerful engine a little bit better gas mileage it, it's just it's meant for cruising and going like cross-country trips like most of them got another seat on the back which the rallies and the sport they have the extra seat but these are just much bigger seats more more room for you and someone else which leads me to number three are you going to consider a passenger now if you're considering a passenger chances are you're going to want to get the rally and up because of the seat and the sports plus comes with a max mount but i don't know if it really comes with the seat uh let me know down in the comments but you, you you're gonna want a seat for for your rider you're gonna you're gonna want that that comfort uh for them too so you need to consider if you really want an actual two-person bike now the rally you get by but i imagine looking at the seat it's not going to be too comfortable, and plus the weight limit, I'm not saying none of y'all significant others are big, nothing like that. I'm just saying the weight limit for two riders, uh, I think is only like five, four or five hundred pounds, and uh, yeah, you need to really consider that. Number four, you got to remember, if you're buying the rocker, I don't know about the spider, I'm not 100% sure, but the rocker is a CVT driven Rotex engine. It's an ace. Rotac or whatever. It does not have gears. It's just one straight. You're going to hit the throttle. Go. No shifting. No nothing. You got a foot brake and that's it. Which you just got a foot brake on the spiders I believe. But with this you got a CVT belt. Means it's a belt driven transmission. So you need to remember that this is more along the lines like i said for someone who's like city cruising you wouldn't be downshifting a lot it works out perfect if you're doing short commutes red lights all that so yeah just remember that it's a cvt driven machine so i think i'm only hit on five for the fifth and final thing go test drive it before you buy it don't be like me I just picked this up because this is a 2022 model and there's kind of a weight on them. And I just looked up and someone backed out of a pre-order about the time I called the dealership looking for one. So just be sure you test drive it because when I left the dealership, if I would have known how little the seat was, I would have definitely got the bigger seat for my fat ass. Uh, I mean, I'm being honest. I need that bigger seat, that bigger solo comfort seat. And also, when I went to leave, I hit the throttle, let me give a demonstration, like that, and fell backwards. Not fell off the thing, but I just, I, I, I fell backwards because, I, I mean, I never rode one. I didn't know how sensitive the throttle was. The throttle was sensitive. So I kind of had an hour and a half drive of me learning the machine. It was an hour and a half drive home. So at least get to your dealership. They always have them available to test drive. Test drive all the models, every model. Just see which one fits you. So that's just five little topics that I wanted to hit on on this ride home from work about, I gotta breathe, man, I gotta breathe. But this is just the topics I wanted to hit on before you make your rocker purchase. I wanted to help you out. And uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers. Welcome, welcome. I see you joining. I see you subscribing. Please comment on the video, like the video subscribe if you're enjoying the content i'm not telling you to subscribe but if you're enjoying the content by all means please please go ahead and subscribe and just hit the like button it helps me with the youtube ag al 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 algorithm i didn't think i'd learned to talk i've been making i got over 200 videos but yeah that, that, that's that's pretty much it looks like i'm coming up on a wreck down here so let me get off this thing um, yeah, if you have any questions, drop them down below. 
and I'll try to reply back to them. And always remember, if you fail plan A, there's 25 other letters on the alphabet. Do not give up. Continue doing what you love. Fro Fro out.